Where, where's my, um, my, like, where's my stopping point? Like, how far? I think there's, like, you're pretty good there. I wouldn't move over if I were you. So that we are in this corner. How are you doing, Nikisha? How are you doing, Wonder? <laughs> <laughs> okay, after a lot of debate, we decided it'd be like that. Welcome to our new show right here. Um, in Los Angeles. Yes, two New York girls in Los Angeles trying to, trying to do our thing. Yeah, uh, did, did you press record? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you ready this time, like for real? Yeah, okay. Okay, cool. okay it's <laughs> fine. Um, hopefully none of you can see my gnarly petty. Uh, my nail, my toenails are gnarly too, yeah. so. Three months. <laughs> oh my god, I'm not even gonna front like I haven't done that though. That happens when you have a man. That's a real life dot com thing. You start falling apart. Nice to be getting a little hairy pedicures could be going unnoticed. Right. Right. Untouched up. Bear legs. <laughs> like a hairy like a bear. I mean not like naked. Bear, bear legs. Bear. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Welcome to it be like that. It be like that. Cause it truly do be like that sometimes. Um I'm what you're a long hour. And I am Nikisha Riley, also known as Nikisha Brunson, because I was married uh, pro over a year ago. I got a divorce, so some of you may know me as Nikisha Brunson, Nikisha Riley, but just Nikisha. Yeah, and um, you know, this is all about new beginnings. Two New York girls right here in LA doing a little something, something. Yeah. Playing around, we have the most animated conversations off camera, and so I was like, I think we need to put this on camera, yeah, and and see what's up, and so we're here now doing this on camera thing. Um, Nikisha, I think an awesome place to start would be for you to tell us about yourself. You told us your name. You're divorced, so that's already an interesting <laughs> start. Divorced. Divorced. Damn, divorced. Why you say that? Like that? What happened? Well, you're you're very happy now, right? I am. You are. You're very in love. Which is always inspiring, right? Yeah. Um, so, you know, there can be new beginnings in all sorts of ways. Yeah. Um, you've been a really successful blogger. Tell us about that. So, I originally went to school for nursing. So, I have my degree, not in nursing, though, in psychology. Mm -hmm. And then I went back to school and I got my master's in education. Um, realizing teaching wasn't really my thing. I started blogging, so I started Urban Bush Babes. It's a popular lifestyle blog. Which I followed I, and mm -hmm. didn't know that you were, like, because you, it's not very facey. Yeah. You know what I mean? You guys don't put your faces out there like that. I didn't even know when I met Nikisha that she was one of the founders. And I was like, oh. And I kind of like it like that. Yeah, yeah. no, definitely. I'm pretty low key you. that way. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, so that's dope. And you also so, broke off and did your a personal channel, correct? Yeah, so Urban Bush Babes 2011, mm -hmm. um, I co-founded it. And I broke off and started doing my own thing mm -hmm. for my own brand. And I started getting more into holistic wellness and like overall health stuff. And also have my own skincare line, Foli, which I have collaborated with the amazing Solange Noble. Incredible. Yeah. We were so just previewing really, her album yesterday. Yeah. We yeah. were yeah. still previewing it. Yeah. Like, still playing it over yeah. and over. Maybe previewing isn't the right word. I'm not okay. gonna act like she gave us the most exclusive uh, <laughs> sound bite right here. But we were definitely listening to it yeah. and, and vibing off of it. So, that was really dope. So, I would say, yeah, I, I broke off into all that stuff. Um, got married, moved out of New York, moved to the DMV area, which is DC. Virginia lived in a part of Virginia for a year. Um, all, also, for those of you who don't know, I have 18 year old son. I was a teen mom. He's a huge part of my life, so I'm a single mama again, I guess. Yeah. Um, he's not here with me in LA. He's like doing his soccer dreams right now. Why do you sound sad? He's living his best life doing his own amazing ish. I miss him. He was with me for 18 That's years legit. of my life, and I was a single mom for 11 of those years before yeah. I got married. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's my my little guy forever. Oh, um, it's yeah. really emptiness syndrome. But yeah, I'm out here in LA now, trying to live my best life. You know, <laughs> she's like, oh, <laughs> sentimental mom stuff. But yeah, I'm out here in LA now. You know, you know what it is in LA, though. Yeah, no, I hear you. It's, and yeah. totally different beat. And you were right. living in Austin for. Oh like, yeah, yeah, I lived in Austin while I was married. Had a house, renovated it, Pinterest style. You know. This is where 
this is where you moved to after Austin. Yeah, right? so I moved here after Austin. So it was DMV, so it was New York, DMV, Austin, yeah. LA. Yeah. Okay. And let's say Brooklyn, because you know, us Brooklynites are proud to be from Brooklyn. That's very true. Okay, Biggie, okay, Biggie. <laughs> so not just New York, but Brooklyn. So, I love it, BK in the house. Okay, very cool. And Wanjira, like, I think your name says a lot. There's where only you're one. from. There's only one. Yes, where you're that's from, very true. Yes. Your history of traveling. Can you tell us more about that? Oh, I love that. You remember that. Mm -hmm. The meaning of my name. So cute and sweet. Um, so my name is Wanjira. Wanjira is a Kenyan name. My mom's Kenyan. Um, my dad's Slovak, so which I'm is something. That. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Slovak. He's Slovak. Really? Uh yes, I'm Smetha. I mean, people. Uh, <laughs> what did you just say? I just said, That's I'm so thirsty, cute. give me fear. Oh, okay. Let's look. Because um, I need to know how to say that in every language, obviously. Um, so, yeah, my mom's Kenyan, my dad's Slovak. Um, I was born and raised in Manhattan. No, says me. Talking about which part of New York City okay. we come from and everything. I'm, I'm from the one and only island. Um, and. I grew up there for a while, but really had a lot of life experience in Westchester because mm -hmm. I grew up in the burbs um, predominantly for most of my um, kid life. And that was a really interesting and dope experience, but I think that experience made me be like, and it's time to leave New York. <laughs> um, and that led me to Nairobi, Kenya. So I actually moved in April 2014 to Nairobi, Kenya. No plan, had no idea really what I was doing. I mean, I had an idea of what I wanted to do, but I wasn't sure how things would play out. So I got my degree in a uh, film. Mm -hmm. um, and as a film major, still really wanted to be in front of the camera. When I got my degree, I got an African mom. She was like, you're not done with school yet. Uh -huh. And she was like, if you don't want to do your master's, right. If you don't want to do your master's yet, at least go and get some um, you know, vocational skills in definitely being able to handle a camera and be behind the camera because it's a rough and tough business. Mm -hmm. We don't know how things are gonna go. So I went to a kind of vocational school, it's called Connecticut School of Broadcasting, and there I did um, a concentration on radio and television, um, did a bunch of really dope internships, <laughs> shout out to WWE Film Studios, and um, still as amazing as all that was, I felt this calling, and like I needed to see what it would be like to live in Nairobi, which has this amazing energy, amazing mm -hmm. um, creative scene, and a lot of really dope ish going on. I think we're starting to see now, um, the power that Africa holds, if anybody doubted before, I think that nonsense about the dark continent is slowly and surely starting to be unveiled. And so much was going on, I said, I need to be a part of that. This is, this is jumping. So I bought a one-way ticket and crashed at my cousin's, uncle and aunt's, and within a month got signed, had a really freaking fantastic life in Nairobi that was super colorful and amazing. Um, and still am a proud Nairobian in a lot of ways. And um, I just wanted to, do, I did so much stuff there and LA had always been in the back of my mind, you know? And I'm, I don't know if this is relatable for you, but like for me, I always felt like, like what about LA? Like what if LA, like what if I took this plunge? Because um, I've always been involved in acting. I really love acting. It's hard as hell. Um, it's not always rewarding, which I think puts a lot of people off. You know, you, you're always terrified to be a starving, a, you know, actor, artist in general. But there was just something in me where I, just like I needed to move to Nairobi, I knew like, okay, if I, I need to at least try things before I throw in the towel mm -hmm. because I'll, I'm one of those people who can't live with what ifs. So I decided, you know what, I'm still young enough. Let me see what's good. And in November, I moved to LA and by... January, Nikisha and I started chatting, and now here we are um, doing this video. So that's pretty cool. So I'm starting my life in LA, um, pursuing my acting dreams, as well as um, you know hosting or whatever. Whatever. And I'm honestly, doing. I'm not sure what I'm pursuing anymore. But you know, <laughs> yeah, which is cool, you know. And in Nairobi, I had I didn't think I even said what I did in Nairobi. In Nairobi, I was um, a host, so I was a radio um, DJ, um, radio host, and as well as a television host mm -hmm. um, and kind of like a lifestyle, you know, influencer and what have you as well. Um, so we kind of share that background. And yeah, life I think has been really fun and like a crazy roller coaster for both of us. So we, we well, are very, yeah. Yeah.
yeah, let me touch on that part. The roller coaster? <laughs> yeah, because I'm just coming out of, you know, a little bit of a, a funk, a depression. Mm -hmm. I have anxiety disorder and ADHD, which is a huge thing. And right. my 18-year-old son, Jaden, has ADHD as well. So I have a lot of experience with mental health and, like, these issues is why like this is exciting this is like i've been very right. inspired by wanjira she's mm -hmm. helping that fire in my ass again yeah i think it's a really good energy because yeah. um i also suffer from depression and anxiety and i think a lot of creatives do i think a lot of people all over the world do because yeah. we are all stressed the f out a lot of the time yeah um I know I put, you know, I know I just put pressure on myself and there's just always something happening and going, so it comes and goes. Um, sometimes there are periods I've had for years where it's fine. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think it's something you just always learn to live with and get a handle on, right? You try. Yeah, you try to, you know, <laughs> and, and try, well, I mean, life doesn't come with a manual. Yeah. Um, but it comes with um, experience, you know, with experience we can make better choices for the next time if you're learning and all we can do is learn and grow really. So this is a place for us to kind of come and be extra and <laughs> <laughs> kind, of, kind of be a little extra and super opinionated. Right, now we are opinionated to, you know, you know. Uh, I'm, very, I'm a very opinionated person. Yeah, crazy, crazy levels. Of opinions out here um, but we're always respectful to each other and other people or so we think I'm sure you'll let us know um, <laughs> you know if you think otherwise but we're basically just here to have fun and chat and so you know, be nice yeah be but, nice. but be real I mean because <laughs> at the end of the day it'd be like that it'd be like that. <laughs> that's it you want to stop it and see what it looks like <laughs> I'm so scared. Okay. How did it sound, Bree? Do we sound like corny bitches? Mm -hmm.